Hello crafters, this is Suzanne from A Creative Muse, and I know I've been away for a few days, got real sick yet again, <laughs> and I thought I had COVID at one point, but it looks like I don't, it's just something turned into a bad cold. So I am back, I was supposed to do a video over the weekend for So In Love February, it's only one card, but it was a cute card. At least I think so. And now Anna White is hosting Bunnies of March. So you would use the hashtag and you'll see it here across the screen, Bunnies of March. Yay! So you can pull out all your bunny goodness, vintage bunny, new bunny stamps, print out something or use some of your bunny dyes. There are many of them on AliExpress too. If you just do bunny ears with a bow, that's cute. And also still Saturday morning makes. All right, but so. what this video is for is for what is back in stock. Speaking of Saturday morning makes, I finally got the paper tray ink quilted tag die. Yes, I will be putting a link for this one. It had been out of stock for the longest time. I thought at one point that they had just retired it, but they restocked it right now. For how long? I have no idea. So if you want one of these beautiful dies that I see, Jill Norwood, Carol's Crafting Cottage, and a few others using, to the point that I've actually bought other dies trying to mimic said die. <laughs> okay? But we'll talk about these two, just in case. You can tell that once I see something and I really want it, I'm like, okay, I can't get this one. I was searching Google to see if anybody was selling it. It looks like when people buy this tag die, they're keeping it. All right, let me give you a measurement on it. Measures roughly three and three quarter inch wide and let's say four and one eighth inch tall. And then it also comes with this little sentiment strip, which looks like it extends a little bit past the width here. So that one is same three and three quarter and half an inch. Now you could use this on a bunch of things all by itself if you don't use this or on a card front, you know, put this, then the sentiment and work it out. But I'm so happy paper tray ink. So I will put a direct link for this one. Also check out their sales section. They have a, you know, some nice things on sale. You just, it's a lot of click, 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 click though. It's like almost shopping AliExpress to a point. Now, the sister to it, what I recently got was the Sunny Studio Scallop Square Tag. This one measures three and a quarter. So this was three and three quarter. This is three and a quarter inch. So you can see that they're almost the same, but not. <laughs> At least in my mind, I know. But if you guys don't get this one and you got this one, I'm just showing you side by side that there are options. Height, three and three quarter inch tall. And then it comes with a small one in here, two inches wide, two and a quarter inch tall. This now you can find everywhere. Scrapbook.com, Sunny Studio itself, etc. Okay. And I also got this one. This is the Scallop Tags Circle. That's the sister to this one. Like a good scallop circle too. This one, three and a quarter inch wide by three and a half inch tall, two two and a quarter, okay? So here now you have options. You can put this with this and play, interchange. But this one, I just, my eyes wanted this one and that's why I went shopping and got that one. <laughs> here it is cut out just to show you what it looks like. See, I was already prepping for something. Supposed to be for Saturday morning makes, so in love. As you can see, now it's gonna be Easter. I'm gonna put some Easter image here. <laughs> or something with a bunny slash Easter, right? And then I also got this one, Honey Bee Stamps Scallop Square Gift Tags. This was on sale at least at Honey Bee Stamps. I showed you an example before with the Cottage Cuts Bear. This is a doodle bug tag though, this one here. If you're interested in this, it's a whole bunch of little tags and it does have a lawn fawn stamped image. I know I'm mixing up so many products and a lawn fawn twine, yeah. But this is what the Honey Bee Stamp Scallop looks like. So at least I can show you that one done. Let me tell you how much it measures. Three and an eighth of an inch tall by three inches wide. So you can see it's like Papa Bear, Mama Bear, Baby Bear. And this one you can interchange and it has the square option or 
a diamond option. And these are both the same, so you can interchange this and turn it into a shaker. This one gives you the shaker option because of these drop-in pieces. Nice. Scallop Square gift tags. I will see if um, Honey Bee Stamps still carry this. I'm not sure because I know they have been retiring a lot of their items. Okay. Also, I did get this one too, the Honey Bee Stamps Scallop Circle gift tag. So you can see I'm having a thing with the scallops here, right? So this is also, again, the baby to that one. Now, Paper Tray Ink doesn't have a circle to this. Maybe one day they'll make it after if they see this video. <laughs> they'll be like, oh, you need to make a big one. Then we could stamp um, Peachy Keen faces in this size, right? Put a Peachy Keen? Let's see. Yeah. See how it's three and a quarter inch here? So you could put a Peachy Keen face in here, one of those three inch ones, the big ones. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That could go in. I may give that a try. I saw a video from Mommy Loves Gigi and she took a globe and put the three inch peachy keen face in that globe and I believe she might have turned it into a shaker too. Oh, you know I was looking at that going, okay, I'll be making that project. Totally inspired by Teresa <laughs> of Mommy Loves Gigi. It was just adorable. Anyway, let's go back into this one. Check out her video if you want to see it. Three and a quarter inch tall by three inches wide. Again, this can be made into a shaker because we have a backer, we have the circle here, and all the goodies. There, this one does come with a reinforcer. This one didn't, but I'm sure this can probably go here too. They all look around the same size. So I just wanted to hop on real quick to tell you to hop on over to Paper Tray Ink. Get your tag dye, because you're going to be seeing it a lot, especially when like Christmas in July, You'll probably start seeing it indefinitely towards the end of the year, but seeing that they took so long to restock this thing, get yours. And it's not a bad price point. The shipping, yes, shipping is ouch. Another option doesn't relate to this, but is a very cute tag set. And I did make something and I haven't even shown you guys. It's so bad. I was just so lost this holiday. Holiday tag, super cute. This one is by Trinity Stamps, two and a half inch wide four and five eighths of an inch tall, cute. And this is just a tag by itself. And then it comes with this ornament piece on the inside and then the word joy, not a bad price point. Of course, you can use the tag by itself and the ornament, save that for the holiday and the joy. That could be any time of the year. Oh, I also did cut this. So I guess it does, it fits right there. Hanging over a little bit, depends on how you position that bit. So I will be making something with this somewhere along the line. Yep. Alrighty, crafters, I just wanted to come on to tell you if you've been wanting this and you can't find it shopping anywhere, it's back in stock until it's out again. I'll link everything down below, though, just in case you want to do my version. You know, mama bear, papa bear, baby bear of <laughs> scallop tags. <laughs> Alrighty, crafters, until the next video. Stay crafty, my friends. Bye.